Hello everyone and welcome to Connect News. My name is Minerva and these are today's top news. Metric and inter students will receive an extra 5% marks in compulsory subjects in addition to the marks taken in the exams of elective subjects, Federal Education Ministry has decided. The Education Ministry has taken this decision after its research showed that metric and inter students receive higher marks in compulsory subjects in annual exams. Addressing the media, Federal Education Minister Shafqat Mahmood reiterated that there will be no exams for compulsory subjects and students would only have to appear in the exams for elective subjects. Maintaining the earlier decision with a new insertion, the Education Ministry has also decided that marks taken by students in elective subjects would proportionally be given in compulsory subjects in addition to the 5% extra marks. Besides, the Education Ministry said that schools would continue to operate with 50% attendance in Punjab, Balochistan, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Gilgit Baltistan, and Azad Jammu in Kashmir. As for Sindh, the planned operation of schools has been disrupted by the unilateral decision of the provincial government to impose a lockdown. Sindh's Education Ministry will review the situation before 8th August and share the reopening schedule for schools with the Education Ministry. Pakistan International Airlines has decided to not serve mineral water bottles to passengers on domestic flights. Half-liter bottles of mineral water will not be provided to passengers on domestic flights of the national flag bearer, according to a notification issued by PIA's manager of flight services. The flight crew will provide water in glasses to passengers on demand, read the notification. The flight crew will provide the implementation report of the new directive through the logbook as per the notification. Earlier on March 25th, the Civil Aviation Authority had imposed a ban on serving water to passengers on domestic flights to contain the spread of COVID-19, according to a report published in Express Tribune. According to a notification issued by the DGCAA, the passengers will be provided with disposable water bottles to ensure their safety. The water bottles will be attached to each of the seats before the boarding of the passengers. Dozens of people reportedly vandalized a Hindu temple in the town of Bhang and blocked the Sakkar Multan motorway after an 8-year-old Hindu boy who allegedly urinated in a local seminary was granted bail by a local court on Wednesday. The boy, Bhavesh Kumar, had accidentally entered a seminary in Bhang. On July 24th, local cleric Hafiz Muhammad Ibrahim berated the 8-year-old boy and reportedly Meghwar urinated out of fear of the cleric's anger. The boy then ran away and hid before the cleric could catch him. The next day, the cleric went to Bong's police station and registered an FIR against the boy. Since the boy was only 8, the FIR was lodged against an unknown person. The police presented Meghwar in court a few days later where he was granted bail. Following the court's decision, a mob of young men gathered and vandalized the Sri Ganesh Hindu temple in the town. Hindu residents of the area alerted the police who allegedly did not take the report seriously. By the time the local police arrived at the scene, most of the temple and its idols had been damaged or destroyed. Following the police's arrival, the mob soon dispersed. Hindu residents of Bong, of whom there are 150 to 200 families, appeared afraid and distressed after the events. Prime Minister Imran Khan, while taking notice of the incident, directed Punjab police chief to arrest the culprits. Strongly condemn attack on Ganesh Mandir in Bhang. I have already asked IG Punjab to ensure arrest of all culprits and take action against any police negligence. The government will also restore the Mandir, he wrote in his official Twitter handle. 
Minister for Human Rights Shiri Mazari condemned the occurrence on her Twitter handle, adding that the event violates our constitution and the basic human rights of our citizens. The minister added that she is in contact with Rahim Yar Khan police so that action is taken against the perpetrators. Mazari also said that the parliamentary secretary will be visiting the area. Sindh Home Department has imposed a ban on pillion riding in the city for the upcoming days of Muharram. In a notification issued here on Thursday, the Home Department announced that a ban on pillion riding has been imposed as a partial modification of a notification permitting two people riding a motorcycle, which was issued last Saturday. According to the notification, the modified orders shall be applicable for the 8th, 9th, and 10th of Muharram. The Sindh government have decided to impose an immediate lockdown till August 8 as the province continues to battle the dangerous surge in COVID-19 infections. However, the ban on pillion riding, imposed as part of the lockdown restrictions in the province, was lifted on Saturday, right after the lockdown went into effect. Restrictions of pillion riding is waived off, stated the notification issued by the Home Department Saturday. Thank you for watching the news. Please listen and share with others. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Bye.